In this example, we're going to look at how to bring in blade element momentum rotor models or BEM models into OpenVSP. So let's make this propeller a child of the fuselage pod here in our pod plane example. Come to import, blade element is right down here. And I've included this test prop BEM file just to have, give you something that you can quickly grab and import. It's, there's nothing special about it, it's just kind of an arbitrary rotor. Click accept. And you'll notice that it does take a little bit of time for OpenVSP to build this thing. And that's because this blade element model has 40 points for every single one of the blade curves. So for chord, twist, rake, skew, you name it, every single one of these has 40 points. And in any time this needs to update, OpenVSP has to solve all of those and re-update it. So anybody that's already seen the propeller topic tutorials knows this and you know that you can either approximate all or you can convert individual ones to cubic bezier or linear you can go in and clear out some of these points there are a number of ways to speed this process up so just as a quick example let's say uh, that we look at something like tangential we know that all of these are zero you can come to approximate cubic bezier and of course it's going to take a moment to update the gui click convert to Okay, and now you've got your first and last control point. We could set that to linear if we wanted to, but that's how you can clear this stuff up reasonably quickly. If you want to do it even faster, just click approximate all. Anything that's constant or zero, it's going to just snap it and you know set it to the, the way it needs to be done. Anything that has a distribution, it's going to try and approximate that with cubic bezier. But notice that I can jump around and do all this stuff quick as a whip, it's updating much faster now. Now, to take a look at what these blade element files look like, when you have, say, a rotor design code, be XFOIL or CAMRAD2 or, or whatever, you're going to have at least the basic information about how the rotor is shaped. So you'll be able to say you need so many sections, however many blades, your diameter, you can either put in collective or feather, if you have pre-cone information, you can pop that in there, uh, but you define the center and the direction normal. In this case, it's in the minus X direction. So that is the direction that the propeller is pointing. And then all of these columns are your radius, chord, twist, your rake, skew, sweep, thickness to chord ratio, ideal lift coefficient, and the axial and tangential. It's all of the information that OpenVSP has here in the curve menu. So if you have this information, OpenVSP will import it in and try and make those changes automatically for you. Now, you don't have to have that information. You can have radius, chord, and twist, and all of these others can be zero. That's perfectly fine. But you'll notice that what we do have here is some thickness to chord ratio and some ideal lift coefficient in this propeller. And so what that has done, if we go and look at thickness, you can see that it did try and approximate that. We have more information in here. But if we come to our cross sections, all the way back at zero or one, it assumes that you want a NACA 1.6 series airfoil for this propeller because it has no other reason to, to suspect otherwise. You as the designer are responsible for coming in and setting the type of airfoil that you need for this propeller, or at least the family. So the thickness, the CLI, all that good stuff is going to be in your design curves. Or if you have custom airfoils like AF file types, you're more than welcome to use those as well. But you do have to come in and define where those cross-section breaks are and give it the correct family of airfoils. So I know that was a bit of an in-depth discussion on simply how to bring in blade element models to build a propeller in OpenVSP, but... Several designers will use this pretty heavily when they're going in between other tools, so it warranted spending a little bit of extra time walking through some of the details.